Yo, yo, welcome to PTA Sports. I am your host, Pest the Analyst. And let me tell y'all, man. So yesterday, uh, I woke up. It was like zero dark stupid in the morning when I woke up yesterday, right? Like the sun wasn't even up. And I got up and I got out of bed. I took Otis to go outside so he can do his business. And then I fed him and I started to get my day ready. Like I started to get ready to, to go to work. I had to actually go into work. And like, you know, as, as I did all those things, right, as I, as I brushed my teeth and I, I, you know, grabbed my clothes and I got, I got the things that I needed to take with me, I didn't feel mad about the game at all, yo. <laughs> I didn't feel mad about the game at all, man. I, I grabbed my phone up, right? I had a, I had a, a, a million notifications on my phone, man, uh, uh, just, you know, People posting stuff, people reacting to things that I've posted. Uh, just, just had a bunch of little notifications on my phone, man. And I looked, I looked throughout my 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 Twitter, man, and I, I saw, you know, all these people that tweeting about this game. Some people are pissed off, some people aren't pissed off. Yeah, it was just a kind of a mixed bag, but but I saw more pissed off than it wasn't pissed off. But like. Even after I saw all that, man, I still wasn't pissed off about the game, man. Like, I went through the whole day, man. I saw my boy that I, that I work with. Uh, he's a Giants fan as well, man. I was expecting for him to be ranting and raving. He was chill, man. He was chill, too. Like, yo, it was it was a weird it was a weird feeling, man, especially for coming from him that, like, he was chill, yo. And it was, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it's it seems it seems like like the the people who are chill about this are, are the ones that are getting more of a reaction from me than the people who aren't chill, man. Like cuz cuz some of y'all some of y'all are real mad, man, but hey, listen. Listen, it is what it is, man. Here's what we're going to do, all right? Uh I went I looked over the stats, right? I watched some some highlights. Uh uh got a little more information on the game, man, and and, and we're going to sit here and we're going to talk about it. We're going to sit here and do kind of a breakdown of the game, all right? So uh, so let's let's start. Let's start on the, on the offensive side of the ball, all right? The, the offensive side of the ball is where I thought our weakness was at. Uh, I was kind of right. Um, but, but based off of what I've seen, I, I, I wasn't all the way right because our offense looked, looked pretty good, man, to, to be completely honest. All right, check this out. Uh, Daniel Jones, man, he was uh, 26 of 41. Right, he threw the ball 41 times, man. I didn't even realize that. I mean, like, I did realize that we was throwing the ball that much, right? But I didn't realize that we threw the ball that much. Like, I didn't realize he threw the ball 41 times. But uh, 26 of 41, all right. 279 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Let's talk about the interceptions, okay? Uh, I was on the Hubs channel last night, right? Uh, and and you know, I said that I really don't necessarily blame Daniel Jones for the first interception he kind of doesn't agree but I still I, I still like I still don't necessarily blame him more than I think TJ Watt made a, a, a outstanding play man I went and I watched the highlight of that man and 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 TJ Watt got back there so fast man he got back there so fast uh, uh, to make that interception, man, that was a, that was a hell of a play. If T.J. Watt wasn't there, it probably wasn't going to be an accurate pass. But I don't think it would have been an interception. I think that it was just, yo, we got to give credit to T.J. Watt on that, man. It was just, it was just ridiculous. Now the second interception is totally D.J.'s fault, and D.J. has got to throw that ball away. Okay, he's got to either throw the ball away or take the sack. I would prefer for him to throw the ball away. Now I, I did notice that. Uh, uh, I think it was, I really think it was Darius Slayton. I didn't really get a great look, and I'm probably going to have to go look at it again, but <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it was Darius Slayton that was running uh, across the back of the end zone, and that's what it looked like uh, uh, DJ was trying to get. It looked like DJ was trying to hit uh, that receiver coming across the back of the end zone, but you ain't had enough time to do that, pimp, and you got to throw that ball away. And here's the thing about it, all right? Like, here's the thing. These interceptions are, are actually a good thing. What are you talking about, Pest? Interceptions are terrible. We don't want no turnovers. Nah, you're right. We don't want no turnovers. But these interceptions are a good thing for Daniel Jones because he gets to learn, okay? Like, 
like let's not pretend that Daniel Jones is not the type of guy that makes mistakes during these games and then learns from those mistakes right like let's 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 pretend that th- that he's not that guy because we know he's that dude okay Daniel Jones is the kind of dude that calls up a receiver and says hey man that 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 one play that didn't work that I messed up on yo let's run that play a couple of times before we end the day like that's the kind of dude he is so believe you me okay I don't foresee Daniel Jones making that kind of a mistake uh, in in the red zone again, okay? I, I just, I don't. I don't see him doing that again. I see the next time he's in that situation, he's just going to throw it away, okay? But here's the thing about Daniel Jones. Uh, yo, we got to see peak Daniel Jones, y'all. We got to see peak Daniel Jones on that, that specific drive, okay? Because on that specific drive, Daniel Jones looked amazing, okay? He looked great. He looked poised, okay? He didn't look scared. He didn't look confused, all right? He marched his team down the field, and it would have been really nice if we could have capped it off with a touchdown, but we didn't. That's okay, all right? Listen, I'm telling y'all right now, based on that drive, if we can get that from Daniel Jones consistently, all right? then this dude's going to be 100% okay. All right, let's move along. Um, uh, Saquon, man. Saquon Saquon did not have a good night, man. And some of it is on Saquon, but most of it is not on Saquon, all right? Um, The stuff that's on Saquon is his pass blocking, man. I hate seeing Saquon Barkley pass block, man. For a dude that's so good at what he does, he is so bad at pass blocking. It's just, it's frustrating to see, man. And I hope that, uh, I hope that the coaches is digging in his ass about pass blocking because he's terrible at it, all right? He's terrible at it. Now, in terms of the fact that he only got six yards on 15 carries, like, that was, that was really the Steelers defense just being monsters, yo. I know y'all want to blame it on the offensive line. I know y'all want to say that the offensive line is bad. But uh, uh, the Steelers' defense is monsters, yo. Don't be surprised if this Steelers' defense is a a top five defense this year. Because they are killers, yo. And I want to bring up a point here, yo. I want to bring up a point here. And and this this is how I know that our offensive line is getting better, okay? Uh... Despite the fact that the Pittsburgh Steelers front seven is monsters, right? Despite the fact that the Pittsburgh Steelers front seven was getting penetration, all right? Was hurrying Daniel Jones, right? Was was rocking Saquon behind a line of scrimmage, right? We had zero holding penalties. Now stop and think for a second. When was the last time the New York football giants went through an entire game with no holding penalties. Yo, that's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. And some there's going to be some naysayers out there that's going to be like, well, the Steelers was moving past them too quick for them to even grab hold of them. Nah, not true. Go look at the film, okay? Uh, a lineman was getting plenty of hands on defenders, okay? But there was no holding. That lets me know that we're trading in the right direction with our line, and we just faced a bad, uh, uh, we just faced a, a, a badass defense, man, like a really, really good defense. But the offensive line... Uh, committed zero holding penalties. That's a big deal. Okay. Now, again, uh, I'm not going to sit here and trash our offensive line right now. Okay. Do they got work to do? Yeah. Do they need to jail? Yeah. Are they the reason that Saquon only had six yards on the ground? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Just it is what it is. Uh, Saquon did get 60 yards off of six catches. He had that really good screen. Um, Saquon need to chill on trying to jump over people because, uh, you know, you can just juke him out of his shoes, keep your feet on the ground and keep moving, man. Jumping up in the air, man. I'm, I, it's, it's nice, man. And, and, and it's, it's, it's special. But uh, I need you to stop doing that, Saquon. I need you to just keep your feet on the ground, please. Um, okay. Check this out, man. Uh, Darius Slayton, yo, 
I'm not gonna lie, man. Like I, I've always liked Darius Slayton, right? I always thought Darius Slayton was was a good uh, a good wide receiver, but I never quite knew if he was a number one. But yo, if Darius Slayton keep doing what he doing, yo, this this kid is a number one receiver. All right, this is one of the few times on my channel that you're gonna hear me give Cop Pizzle props because Cop Pizzle been screaming about Darius Slayton being a number one receiver this entire time. Okay, yo, Darius Slayton could potentially be a number one receiver. Like this kid is just really good. All right, he runs good routes he's fast as hell uh uh you know he's sure-handed i really like what i saw from darius slayton we even got we even got a uh, uh a couple of touchdowns out of him man the, the real long touchdown uh you should go and check out the the new york giants um youtube page man because uh uh joe judge actually broke down the uh play that slayton caught the long touchdown pass on and it's man it's real good information and it was very well ran very well ran um so yo yeah man I, listen i'm i'm in on i'm in on slayton 100 in on slayton um Sterling Shepard also had six receptions. He had uh, 60 yards, all right? Ten a pop. That's not bad. Uh, uh, he took some pops and, and you know, some, some real big licks, man. But uh, but he was fine, so that's good, man. I'm really good to, to, to see that. All right, check this out, man. Um, y'all know me, man. Y'all know I always bring y'all the real, yo. I'm off the Evan Ingram train, man. Like, straight up, I'm off the Evan Ingram train. This this dude this dude has he provides nothing yo he provides nothing and uh, I'm not gonna sit here and say that that Evan Ingram needs to be cut or released or traded but if if he okay he better not be cut or released <laughs> I know that much he better never be cut or released if if he's not on his team it's, it, it better be because he got traded okay or it better be because we couldn't negotiate contract a contract with him. Uh, uh, which I, I honestly at this point I don't know if I want to renego to con renegotiate a contract with Evan Ingram. Yo, this man ain't blocking well. This man is dropping passes. This man had to commit offensive pass interference to to get separation from a linebacker. Like, bro, what what do we what do we have you here for? Like, what do we have you here for? So I'm off the Evan Ingram train. I'm off of it. All right. I don't I don't care if this dude's on our team. Uh, uh, anymore like I really don't I can't sit here and make excuses for this dude I can't sit here and talk about this dude's potential I just I can't do it no more I can't so I'm off I'm off the Evan Ingram train y'all uh, that's just how I feel man I'm just keeping it real all right let's uh transition over to defense real quick man I'm, I'm gonna try to speed this up man because I don't want this this video to be forever um all right listen man our interior de our interior defensive line man they played really, really well, man. I was really happy with what I saw from our interior defensive line, okay? Uh, uh, and, and it's a validation moment for me because uh, uh, Leonard Williams, man, he looked amazingly good, all right? And I understand that it's just one game. I'm not jumping out the window on Leonard Williams, but all the things that I've been saying about Leonard Williams, all the things that I've been saying in terms of the value he brings to this team, he showcased it on Monday night. He 100% did, okay? He 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 pressured Ben Roethlisberger and made him make a, a couple of Aaron throws, uh, and he even got a sack. All right, doubled his sack numbers. <laughs> Yo, some a holes is on Twitter giving him props for doubling his sack numbers, man. That's crazy. But yo, listen, he he looked real good, man. I'm, I'm super I'm super excited to see what else he can do. Um, Dexter Lawrence, man, Dexter Lawrence looked equally good, man. Uh, uh, he also had a sack. He had a, a tackle for loss, man. He was disruptive. He was he was uh, uh, providing pressure on a quarterback. Like yo, this is this is what. This is kind of what our defense needs to do, okay? We need to be pressuring the quarterback. We need to make the quarterback uh, uh, rush through his reads, throw the ball a little quicker than he would want to, man. Uh, yo, like, seriously, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy with the way that, th that our interior uh, defensive line played. Um, listen, in terms of, uh, of our linebackers, man, I was, I was relatively happy with our linebackers, man. Uh, uh, they were flying around out there, okay? Lorenzo Carter looked pretty damn good. Uh, uh, Kyler Fackrell looked good uh, on a few plays. Marcus Golden looked good out there. Blake Martinez, man, listen, y'all gonna be crapping on Blake. Well, nah, y'all ain't crapping, but some people are crapping on Blake Martinez, right? Calling him the worst player in the history of the NFL. Marcus, Marcus, that franchise guy, I'm talking to you. But, but listen, man, uh, the way he played, 
on, on Monday night, yo, he was everywhere. He was fast. He was hitting hard. He was, you know, tackling, you know, right at the line of scrimmage, uh, uh, sideline to sideline. Yo, man, that's 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 the, the play I want out of this dude. So hopefully he can improve on that. He can build on that as his team gets a little bit better. Um, I was also super impressed with, uh, with man, I was super impressed with James Bradbury, man. James Bradbury was out there, man, and he was, I'm not going to say he was shutting his side down because he wasn't quite shutting his side down, but he was, he was very active, man. He had a, a deep pass breakup that was just, man, it was, it was textbook, man. Uh, um, you know, he wasn't going to be able to out jump the, the wide receiver. So as the wide receiver pulled the ball down, he punched it out of his hands, man. It was, it was, it was, it was, uh, uh well done. All right. So that's that's like my 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 real good from the defense. Um, can someone explain to me though why uh, 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 Ballantyne is playing boundary? Cause he was getting undressed. They made Ballantyne look bad. I don't know what I, I don't know why he's playing boundary. I don't know if that's what he needs to be doing, man. I just I don't know. Uh, at least not not from a starting perspective, man. If he's coming out there to spell a guy or, or something, if he's playing one or two plays, then I guess I'm all right with that, right? But I don't know if this dude needs to be our, our starting uh, uh, number two corner. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like may, maybe maybe he can maybe we can put him in the position that like like Isaac Yadam was in because <laughs> he only played a, a couple of snaps and on one of the snaps he played he allowed a damn touchdown. Granted, it's Juju Smith and Juju Smith is a beast, but but Juju Smith had him looking like he had on cement shoes. Man, it was bad. It was real bad. Uh, uh, they got to figure out this this uh, they got to figure out this defensive backfield, man. At least the corners. At least the corners. They got to figure this out, man, because. Um, Listen, man, the, the front seven, man, the front seven is going to be doing what they need to do. Uh, but but we're not always going to be able to get home. And, and these uh, these these defensive backs, man, they, they're going to have to play play good coverage, man, so we can get some coverage sacks or something. Because uh, once Big Ben got hot, he couldn't be stopped, man. Straight up, he couldn't be stopped. And, and, I, and I was just waiting for it to happen. <laughs> I was like, yo, when Big Ben, when Big Ben starts, you know, getting his mojo, man, we're going to be in trouble. And that's exactly what happened. But, uh, but yo, that's what it is, man. Um, oh, one last thing, man. One last thought uh, in regards to, to the players, man. Uh, I like Jarrell Peppers returning punts, man. I like that a lot. Jabril Peppers is going to take one to the crib. Watch. He's going to take one to the crib because... Yo, he's explosive with that ball in his hands. It's crazy. Uh, uh, so, so, yo, that's that's kind of that's kind of uh, uh, the things that I've that I noticed, like 100% noticed that stuck out to me uh, in regards to this game. Um, I still feel good about the team, man. I still feel good about where this team is going. I still feel good about the direction, and I think we've got still got like a real good, strong foundation. It's gonna take time for us to build up on this foundation, yo. But listen, like, listen, yo. This this is uh this is a good thing for us because um again we're playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers have a high chance of being in the playoffs. Pittsburgh Steelers have have a a a really really dangerous defense, especially their front seven. Really really dangerous, okay? And they've got a Hall of Fame quarterback, all right? Who, who's been doing this for a long ass time and knows every trick in the book all right and the fact that we were still in this game the fact that it was close the whole way yo you should feel good about it because i feel good about it so listen man i appreciate y'all coming and listening to me talk uh we we gonna uh listen we gonna go ahead and focus on the chicago bears man that's what's next that's what's next on the docket. That's the next team. So let's focus on them. Let's just leave this one in the rearview mirror. And let's uh, let's go on out there and, and play some good football. So with that being said, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit me in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. Let me know how you're feeling. And I'll get up with you guys later. Deuces.